So I have these two plates from Claire Jelly Stamper. It is called their plate of the month. Each month you get two themed plates for an upcoming season. And in the month of November, I got something to use for the month of December and in for winter. So this plate is so cute. You can see right here, there are little birdies and a snowman that is so adorable. And then the other plate has snowflakes and snow theme type things. And each of the plates, it comes with a card that has the images. If you flip the other side of the card, it's gonna show you how to uh, order the little layers that they have here to make this image. What they also have, which I think is kind of cool, is they have this see-through sheet now. Let me see if I can put that there. And what you do is you can put it on top of your nail so that you can see what the image kind of looks like. So as an example, I have here just a white one, but if I wanted to see how this looks on my nail right here, I can put it up against it and kind of like go off of that right there. So I thought this was cool. They include it now with all of their stamping plates. I'm going to be designing a set of nails using both of these plates. For the base of my nail, I'm going to be using Revel Pine. This is a beautiful green. Now all of the stamping polishes I'm going to be using for the designer from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I will show you the uh, number of the colors as I do them so it will be easier to follow and if you're not already aware I do have a discount code for a clear jelly stamper I'll go ahead and list it right down here below that'll save you 10% so right underneath here is my silicone mat I use this to protect my work surface just and to make a cleanup a little easier it is going to be waterproof so it doesn't stain whatever's underneath here which is my marbling um, block here but just to make cleanup a slightly easier I put like a paper towel I put it right underneath where I'm going to be uh, stamping just to make cleanup even more easier and as this gets dirty I just kind of replace the napkin versus having to clean the silicone mat other items I'm going to be using is my favorite clear jelly stamper. This is called the XL Big Bling, I want to say it's called, but it has two silicone stampers all in one. So if one gets dirty or ruined, I can just reach for my second one. It does come with a cap, but my cap cracked. And so I had to toss it in the garbage, but this works just fine and I just remove it and I'm able to kind of see right through it when I'm stamping. I have my trusty little scraper card. This is a mini size. So there's a full size that's um, a credit card size, but I tend to gravitate um, towards the mini. But whatever works for you, um, just go ahead and use it. But this one, I find that I like better for me. Then in this glass bottle, I have my acetone. This is resistant to acetone, so it's just a little pump bottle at the top and it dispenses some acetone for me. Then I have cotton pads in this little container here that I use for cleanup. And then from time to time, or if I'm just super lazy, I'll just use paper towels and I'll tear it up into little pieces and I'll use that with the acetone for cleanup. And you can do that if you don't have cotton pads. All of the stamping plates, they come with a blue cover, so you should just remove it before you use it and then clean it off with some acetone. So here's a little tip I wanted to give everyone. Take a cotton pad, um, just a regular cotton pad, soak it in acetone and just leave it here so that when you're scraping, you can clean off your scraper card just like that. So I have one kind of sitting at the side or paper towel dedicated to it. This cotton pad will stay moist a little longer versus a paper towel. We are going to start off with this stamping plate. I am going to stamp actually a little snowman scene with that dude right there. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. I'm going to start off with color 034, which is this pearlescent white color. It is the same color that I use on this nail right here. I'm going to use my two hand scrape method because I don't have a lot of time to work with. So I'm going to scrape and then pick up. And there it is. It picked up pretty nicely. I'm just getting rid of the excess here. And that dried out. So let me see if I can use my roller to 
get rid of the excess polish that I don't want. I can always clean it up afterwards, but it's a little easier if you can just get rid of all the stuff you don't need. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a snowflake here and then I'm gonna put a snowflake on this side. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with a few sprinkles on just kind of like in the inside of that. I'm gonna use these little itty bitty stars right here and see if I can get it. I don't need it's already dry so let's see if I can just transfer it without removing the excess all right I'm good with that that's how it looks so far I'm using the white color 002 now for the snowman what I want to do is just kind of create first some snow so I'm just gonna kind of create like a little soupy soup at the bottom there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're going to use this plate to create the snowman. I'm going to take the images right up here. So I'm going to be using a light gray for my snowman just to kind of give it a little bit of contrast. But before I do that, I'm going to stamp a white as my first layer of my snowman. And then I'm gonna stamp the light gray on top of the white so that the light gray will show a little bit more. Um, if I don't do that, my light gray looks a little bit more transparent. So the way I scrape is how I'm gonna apply the polish. So I'm gonna scrape down kind of like at this angle so I don't affect the other layers. So I'm gonna go this way. So when I'm scraping, I'm scraping this way and filling the uh, image. That's a hollow image. So. It's going to require a little bit more of a gentle scrape. So at a, at a flat angle as much as possible, scrape so you can feel the etching, get rid of the excess, and then you're going to roll it over and pick up the image. Now that wasn't perfect and I'm okay with that. Otherwise I would go in and redo it several times until I got a perfect, but I'm okay with that. This is the first layer. Uh, there's one more going on top of it, which is the gray. So now you're just going to position it right on top of the snow and press down for like two three seconds and then lift up we can do now we're going to clean this off so we can do the light gray image make sure you let your plate dry all the way otherwise the acetone is essentially going to eat into your polish and affect your image so the color i'm going to use as my second layer of my snowman is going to be this light light gray and it's color 107 same concept little blob there and I'm putting my hand uh, as pressure on the plate so that it doesn't lift and I'm going to scrape get rid of the excess and then I'm rolling over my image so that I can pick it up with the, the most gentle of roll so now I'm just going to line it up as best as possible and there is my snowman. Now you can see the light gray against the white. See? Otherwise, like I said, it's going to be transparent. We're going to use black 001. And I got a little bit of black on that, which is easily fixable. You can just kind of, at the end, I'll do it now because it's going to be still wet. Just paint white over it. Okay, for my part of my hat and my nose there, carrot nose, I'm just going to take just that much of the image because that's all I want. And there's a little bit of extra. I'm gonna just remove it with my... He's coming along. Then for the scarf, I'm gonna be using this metallic blue. It's color 101. picked 
up pretty decent. Yay, he's coming along. Look how cute he looks. And now we're just missing the arms. Because I'm taking this light tan color, 118. And I tried to use brown, but up against a dark green, you can't see anything like a black or a brown. This, you can go ahead and take both image and just stamp one at a time. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Scrape, scrape. Okay, I'm not gonna even worry about the excess because I don't have time, but I have two hands there. One is gonna go right there. The other one is gonna sit right here. There he is. Okay, my snowman is done. I'm just gonna take my white polish here. I'm going to just kind of clean up the bottom. That's it. So we're going to let it dry before we top coat. For the second accent now, I'm just going to pick up this entire snowflake image here with this color 34, which is the pearlescent white. For this image, I'm going to cover the entire thing, make sure I get polished throughout. There it is. What I now I decided to do one more final design. This one is really, really easy. I wanted to see how much of this plate I could use. So I'm going to be using this and then that little ribbon thing. Picking up a open design like that has been like the hardest thing for me to learn. And I think I'm at a decent place where I can show you guys little tips and tricks. So if you want me to do another video with how to open space designs, how to pick it up, just drop me a comment down below. So I'm going to use this blue one that I used earlier, color 034. I'm going to fill this entire, almost entire. And scraping at the angle that you need is key. So I'm going to scrape. I'm going to pick up gently. And there you go. Now this, let's see where I want to put it. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I did leave some open space here. You can just kind of go in with your polish and just kind of fill it. That is like the easiest thing to do. You can also use a brush too, if you want. That picked up pretty good. Just get rid of the excess. Gonna give it another like that, and I could do one more thing. I could just add another line of that same blue just to kind of like I don't know because it's just extra. <laughs> Let's go in with the blue. Was missing a little bit of polish but you know what it's okay I'm not gonna completely forget about that and that is it that is what we're gonna do all right now these are the three nails that we did right here and you could do two things uh, right now you can go in with a gel top coat and it won't smear. You, what you can also do if you didn't want to use a gel top coat, I'm kind of allergic to gel these days, most of it. If I use gel, it's going to be on a tip and I cure it and I'll wear it for a short amount of time. 
or if I don't want to even deal with gel, what I'll do is I'll seal in the design with hairspray. So I learned this little trick from, um, I think the Maniology Facebook group, but you seal it in with hairspray and then you go in with a normal top coat and it won't smear. It has to be an aerosol spray, by the way. It cannot be um, the spritz, it has to be aerosol. So take it about, I would say six inches away because you want it to be a light mist. If it's too heavy of a mist, it will smear your image before it dries. So I'm gonna just take, I'm gonna just do a light mist right there. Might as well do it on all of them. And then I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Um, it's gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna come back and then do one more coat, wait for it to dry, and then I will top coat. So I will see you back here in just a few minutes. It's been a few minutes and it's dry. So I'm gonna go in with another layer of hairspray and I will be back in just a few minutes to top coat and finish it off. I decided to finish it off with a matte top coat. I'm using the one from Glisten and Glow. We are all done. The matte top coat is dried. It didn't do much for this white shimmer one. It looks like it um, was just not top coated at all. So it looks the same before I put the top coat on. But these other ones with the design, look how cool it looks. I think I enjoy matte very, very much. Drop a comment below. Let me know what your preference is. Do you like to do matte top coat or do you like to do a regular shiny top coat? I really enjoy matte uh, very much. But I hope you liked this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would appreciate if you um, uh, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on that bell to be notified when I upload new content. Take care and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.